Razavan here for fighthype.com with me. I've got CEO of Matchroom Sport, Frank Smith. I can't believe how you started this conversation of, I can't get Eddie, so you'll do. It was a joke. I laughed afterwards. Really hurt. I laughed afterwards. How are you doing, Frank? Good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Press conferences? It's Two press plural. conferences, yeah. yeah. How have things been trying to logistically get things sorted for this event? Yeah, no, it's all right. I mean, this is our third time at Wembley. It's our fifth major stadium show in recent times. So, you know, we, we work with the same people. We work with the best people out there. So, you know, it gets easier the more you do. Don't get me wrong, there's always problems, but we've got, we put everything in place to make sure that we deliver what we need to on the night. Josh Hopperbeck, yeah, everyone was hoping that this was Josh, Joshua Wilder. Joshua even said last week at his media day that when he fought Parker, he was a bit tentative in his performance mm. because in the back of his mind, he was thinking that it would be Wilder next. Mm. I know obviously you're in the promoting game, but are you disappointed that it isn't Wilder? No, look, I think this is probably one of those toughest, toughest tests today in this fight. Um, you know, Pavek, oh look, sorry, KD's just walked down, he's doing some... KD, come in. I think it will be, you know, we've got to build up to all these fights, and there's some major fights out there in the, in the coming years, so... Lots to come. Listening. Wow. And you can get involved now, we've got KD, yeah, now we've got, it's, who's, it's, as they say, Joshua's right-hand man uh, in life. Right-hand man. <laughs> in life. We're just talking about how Joshua, he said last week in his media day that when he fought Parker, he's a bit tentative in his performance because in the back of his mind he was thinking about potentially being Wilder next. Mm. And this performance we're going to see, he said, it's going to be more devastating, it's going to be more aggressive, it's going to be the Joshua that everyone likes. Yeah. I'd say he probably learnt from that. He needed that fight, definitely. But he's learned from it and he'll probably go back to the Joshua we love. That just takes people out. Tell me some more. He's a man of very I, few I, words. I can't tell you nothing that you don't already know. So. Obviously, jo Joshua now fighting Povetkin. The goal has always been, I know you're a very close friend of his, mm -hmm. to become the undisputed champion. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very hard to become undisputed champion in any division because of all the mandatory requirements. I do believe that after this yeah. fight, he has a potential WBO mandatory. He could have an IBF mandatory this time next year as well. So, is, does that while the fight needs to happen very, very, very soon? Let me let the, the, the no, promoter... You're, like. you're, you're his friend. You know, what would you like to see? What would I like to see? <laughs> I'd like to see what are the next. Wembley, we've got the date. It's there. Now the only situation is this Fury thing going on, so... Do you think if, if Wilder beats Fury, makes negotiations easier? From the perspective Easier of, in what sense? From the perspective of Wilder would then demand a probably, a probably a split. Um, I don't know. I don't care. I think whatever way you look at yeah. it, it's not going to be. The negotiations with whoever, whatever route you need to go down, are never going to be easy. Um, but we want to make the biggest fight, and Josh is the biggest star in world boxing. So, obviously, the kickoff is all with the zone. I think I pronounced that right. The zone, yeah. Well done. Um, he's got a lot of Americans here, actually. As there well. is an awful lot of them. They're going very heavy with this one. They are going massively. How much do you think they can grow Anthony Joshua in the States? Lou Bella and others have come out and said, you know, I think it was top rank went on Facebook with 25,000 views on, on one of his shows. The Zone don't have the capacity, don't have the pulling power. Do you think they'll get that pulling power eventually? It's like, it, it's like anything, it's like they've done in all their other markets. And they've recently launched in Italy. KD's gone there, so recently launched the business in Italy, they, they've launched in Germany, Japan, Japan, they're now the biggest sports broadcaster in Japan. These things aren't going to be overnight, but they have the they have the, uh, the financial backing, the willpower, the team behind them to really create something, create something massive, and they will do, because they, they've got a new approach to it. And boxing in America, all these people who sit there and say, they can't do this, they can't do that, they've done nothing with boxing in America. So, you know. It's not, like I say, it's not going to be overnight, but I feel very confident that collectively we're all going to change the, the boxing industry in the US. Obviously the, the current boxing calendar looks quite hectic for the rest of the year. I know you guys are crazy in America, but just looking at December itself as a month, I know Frank Warrington now, Warrington and Selby. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Warrington, Warrington Frampton. Frampton. 
and there's potential rumours that Chizora White could go on the same day. Is that good for sport boxing? Frank, Frank made a comment that you would never have Manchester United and Manchester City play on the same day you can't. at the same time. You as can't. Well, what, in the same place? Well, or, not in the same place, but you won't have two big clashes. Yeah, but you, at the same you have time. two big football matches. On, you have, I don't know, how many games are there at 3 o'clock on a Saturday in the Premier League? You have a number of them. No, you. We're not going to, there's too many events going on, there's going to be clashes, there is always going to be clashes and we're not going to be able to, it's not like we're ringing each other saying what are you doing on this day? Oh really? Okay, we're doing this. Now we've got a plan, we've got to run our own business, they've got to do their own thing and you know we're confident in what we can deliver and what we can do so if someone else puts another event on that night, we're confident that we can sell ours out, we can do the, put on the biggest show that night in the, in the UK or anywhere for that matter. So, that's one of those things. From the fans, so don't you make, isn't it more difficult for fans then to choose which pay-per-view to buy? They, they have to, you know, it's, like I say, you're not, we're not, we're competitors. We're not ringing each other saying, what are you doing this weekend? Because we're going to do something this weekend. So, it's unfortunate, of course. But then that gives the fan the choice to pick what they want to watch.